Good morning, everyone. It is another sunny, beautiful morning out here in Saratoga Springs, New York. It's been really gorgeous all the time we're here. The weather has been nice, nice-ish. It was kind of hot and rainy for a few days, but now it's like really evened out. Um, so it's Wednesday, which means we are halfway through our second week. Um, today we have classes as usual and rehearsal as usual tonight, but tomorrow we have some workshops and a talk with Elizabeth Streb and Ann Bogart because they're doing like a city company is currently working on a joint piece with Streb Company that was written by Chuck Me. It's called Falling and Loving. And we're going to get to see a performance of that on the 14th. So I'll be sure to tell you all about it when that arrives. But for right now, the mission is to get myself some eggs and get myself some food so I can be ready for the Suzuki's in about 45 minutes. Bye. Okay, so hello everyone. I wanted to be able to introduce y'all to some of the other people who are gonna be here. Well, who are gonna be here? You're already here. But who are already here at um, City With Me. This is Serena. Hello, my good folks. Can you say hi, my name is Serena? Oh, you want me to say that? Yes. Hi, my name is Serena. <laughs> tell, tell us, lovely, curious people, a little bit about yourself, Serena. So, I'm from Minnesota, and I consider myself to be a theater performer. I guess if we're going to label it, I'm an actor. Um, I like to do theater, and that's why I'm here. Yeah. Sarita is also Miss Minnesota, and will be competing in Miss United States. So if you watch pageants... To watch the Serena. Very small percentage of people out there who are watch here. Serena go win Miss United States. Um. Okay, hi everyone. So now that you just saw a bunch of that, I'm gonna give you a little gab about what's been going on with me. Um. So end of week two. Um, week two, week two is undeniably difficult um, because week one we had all the adrenaline and the excitement of learning new things pushing us through, and now in week two. We've kind of finished learning all the new things and now it's like, all right, now you like actually have to do the new things well, um, which is intense. And also a lot of us have been getting slammed by rehearsals for Three Sisters at Night. Um, and like, so a lot of us have been rehearsing until 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night, which it can be very, very taxing because you have to be up by 7 a.m. the next morning and going out and going. But I mean, <sighs> being able to just do this all day, every day is, pretty blissful in its own sense. Of course it's exhausting, but it also is a certain level of bliss. It's kind of sadistic, but you know, acting, we're into it. Um, so some of the big things that came out of this week was we got to see Elizabeth Streb's Extreme Action Dance Company perform, and they are... <laughs> literally fly like literally like they in every way that is possible for a human being to fly without being like strapped into a harness they do it and it is amazing the stuff that they have pioneered those performers are fearless they are tough as nails and it was it was incredible and it to me I brought up a lot of thought of a dedication to the craft because when I had done my training in Suzuki at Montclair, it was very much so kind of like, oh, this is Suzuki, this is movement. But being here, I've realized that Suzuki is not just movement. Suzuki is literally training, and Suzuki is a training mental just adventure that you can take yourself on and that you can be on for years and years to come. And it's, it's incredible. Um, and 
for me, Suzuki has been making me really relate to my breath in a whole new way, and it's been making me relate to my, not my fear of what my body can't do, but my relationship to what my body can and cannot do in a totally new way. Um, and so, like, that's what's really important to keep in mind with this kind of stuff is that Suzuki is so incredibly physically taxing. And Elizabeth Streb said something during a talk that she gave with Anne that I thought was super, super cool, was that your curiosity about your fear has to be bigger than the actual fear itself. So, little Anne, that's kind of what I'm walking into next week with. So, I'll see you guys then.